They were tiny and toony, altogether loony, and in their cartoony they invaded our TVs. Those comic dispensers that cracked up all the sensors on Tiny Toon Adventures as we got a dose of comedy. We went on down to Acme Acres and got our two degrees, where the teaching staff been getting laughs since 1933. Hey guys, Shannon here with Comic Gun TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on a single video. Created in 1990 by Steven Spielberg and Terry Samel as the first collaboration between Warner Brothers and Amblin Entertainment. However, the idea for Tiny Toons actually began three years earlier when the Warner Brothers Animation Studio approached Steven Spielberg to collaborate with Samel and Warner Brothers Head of Licensing Dan Romanelli. The original idea was to do a younger version of the original Looney Tunes or use the children of the original Looney Tunes. It was later decided to use brand new characters for the new series. During this early process, plans were made for this idea to make a theatrical release as a full-length movie. In 1988, the concept was transformed from a full-length feature film to a television series with a working title of Acme Acres. After production was complete, Steven Spielberg Presents Tiny Toon Adventures would air in syndication during its first two seasons and then get picked up in its entirety by Fox Kids for its third season. The show aired its pilot episode on CBS's primetime lineup on September 14, 1990, and it ran in syndication through December 6, 1992, with two specials which were produced in 1994. Tiny Toon Adventures was set in the fictional town of Acme Acres. It revolved around a group of students at Acme University whose faculty consisted of the old Looney Tune and Merry Melody characters such as Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck. Usually each episode was hosted by Babs and Buster Bunny. No relation. Buster was voiced by Charlie Adler and John Kasser. With Babs being voiced by Tress McNeil, they were often joined by Plucky Duck voiced by Joe Alasky, who would eventually receive his own short-lived spin-off series. Other characters of the show included Dizzy Devil voiced by Maurice Lamarck, Montana Max voiced by Danny Cooksey, Shirley the Loon voiced by Gail Mathias, Hampton J. Pig, who was voiced by Don Messick, Sweetie, voiced by Candy Milo, Elmira Duff, who was voiced by Cree Summer, as well as Go-Go Dodo, Furball, Byron Bassett, Calamity Coyote, and Little Beeper, who were all voiced by Frank Welker. Tiny Toon Adventures was made with a higher production value than standard television animation. It had a cell count that was more than double that of most animated television shows then. Tiny Toon Adventures would go on to air a total of 100 episodes, which includes the specials. My personal favorite were the Justice League episode, the Music Countdown episode, and the Wacky World of Sports episode. In 1992, the Plucky Duck show was produced as a spin-off for Fox Kids. Based on the character Plucky Duck, except for the premiere episode which was the return of Bat Duck, the show was composed entirely of recycled Plucky-centric episodes from Tiny Toon Adventures. In 1998, a second spinoff, which was actually a triple spinoff, entitled Pinky Elmira and the Brain, debuted on Kids WB. I say triple spinoff because Elmira came from Tiny Toon Adventures, while Pinky and the Brain came from both Animaniacs and their own spinoff, Pinky and the Brain. Pinky, Elmira, and the Brain picks up after Pinky and the Brain leaves off, where Pinky and the Brain become Elmira's pets after Brain accidentally destroys their original home, Acme Labs, during an experiment. Pinky, Elmira, and the Brain lasted for 13 episodes. A quarterly children's magazine based on the series entitled Tiny Toon Adventures Magazine debuted in October 1990. Issues number 1 through 4 were published by DC Comics. Issues 5 through 7 were released through by Welsh Publishing Group, and the final issue was covered in 1992. The characters of the show would go on to make appearances in Animaniacs, Freakazoid, as well as Pinky and the Brain. Tiny Toon Adventures, along with Animaniacs, continued to rerun in syndication through the 1990s into the mid-2000s, after production of new episodes ceased. It re-ran on Nickelodeon from 1995 to 1999, and again from 2002 to 2004. It also aired on Kids WB from 1997 to 2000, Cartoon Network from 1999 to 2001, and finally on Nicktoons from 2002 to 2005. On October 27, 2012, the series aired on broadcast television once again on Vortex with the special Tiny Toons Night Ghoulery, and again on November 24, 2012. The series began airing reruns on the Hub Network on July 1, 2013. On January 4th, 2018, Hulu acquired the streaming rights to Tiny Toon Adventures, along with Pinky and the Brain, Animaniacs, and Pinky Elmira and the Brain. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.